Today we're taking a look at a travel trend that doesn't tend to break the bank. We are bringing in Lisa Dietland. She is president and CEO of the Institute of Transformational Philanthropy here to teach us a new word. What is that word, Lisa? No, it's volunteer tourism, or we like to say volunteering. You can do a volunteering vacation or a do-good vacation. Volunteering, I like that word. So why is this becoming popular? I think, you know, in an age when we're living where we want to see what a difference we can make in the world, and we're so global that we do want to make a difference and think about giving some of our time. So when you travel, um, it's a little bit different than your regular vacation. It's a take on the Peace Corps. You know, many of us, when we were in college, thought about going to the Peace Corps, but it was a two-year commitment. Well, a volunteer vacation is a one-week, maybe three-month commitment to an organization to help a local community. So you're working with the local people. You're actually building infrastructure, restoring temples, churches. You could be um, establishing clean water, cleaning up ecosystems. You're really making a difference. So you're immersing yourself in that culture, and most of the people who do it say they make lifelong friendships. It's a huge industry. First of all, Angie, there are over 2,000 organizations that offer volunteer experiences while you vacation. It's a billion dollar a year industry and about one and a half, 1.6 million people a year do this. But here's the kicker. Over half the people surveyed about vacations when they're offered the opportunity, would you volunteer on a vacation? Say yes. Can you tell us about some of the exciting destinations? There really are. There are, it's everywhere. It's in almost every country, uh, definitely every continent that you can go and volunteer and tour. And what most people don't realize, a lot of it is tax deductible because you are donating your time and making a contribution to a charity, a nonprofit organization. But the key is I always tell you, Angie, and I always tell our audience viewers is make sure you do your research. Just as many good organizations are out there, there are those that are fraudulent and not a 501 C3. So make sure that you talk to the organization, you do your research, you maybe talk to other people who have used this organization and talk to others who've done a volunteer vacation to make sure that this is the right match for you. Well, Lisa, I have to admit, when I go on vacation, I like a little rest and relaxation. Can you work that into the trip? Well, you know, one of the vacations that I looked at was actually in South Africa. And a few years ago, they were cleaning up an ecological, you know, water system where birds had been, had been contaminated and the birds were being affected by it. So the story was that in the morning, you worked on cleaning up the watershed and in the afternoon, you went wine tasting. So there was a little bit of fun built in. There's also ones that I've uh, studied in the Himalayas with the restoring of the temples there. And again, you might work three or four days and then have three or four days off to go exploring and have fun. What about people who just want to do a staycation and still volunteer and do some good? You absolutely can. You know, in the bad economy of the early 2000s, you know, we did these staycations. But many of us say, even today, gosh, if I only had time, I'd do X or Y. You know, if I had this time. Well, why not dedicate a portion of your vacation? If you're like us uh, in Chicago, where it's beautiful, maybe if you're two weeks off, you do one week volunteering for an organization, and the second week you do that resting that all of us love to do. Thank you, Lisa. Always a pleasure. Keep vacationing and volunteering and making a difference.